One week from today will be the Vermont primary, and the Secretary of State is talking about preparations and what voters need to know. Local 22's Dana Casulo talked with Jim Condos about making sure you have a plan to vote. With the Vermont primary days away, Secretary of State Jim Condos wants as many people as possible to come out to vote. A lot of people are already casting their ballots through the mail through early voting. If someone has lost their ballot, they can still vote at the clerk's office before primary day or at the polls on primary day. They will need to sign an affidavit saying that they have lost their ballot. New to Vermont's election this year is ballot curing. Voters now have the opportunity to cure defective ballots, which previously was not possible by law. Director of Elections and Campaign Finance Will Senning explains a reason you can cure a ballot. And so those are that the certificate envelope that the voted ballot goes in is not signed. That's a very common one that can be cured. Um, that the voted ballot is not in that certificate envelope when it's returned. That also will make it defective and can be cured. Secretary Condos wants to remind people official results are not immediately available on election night. The town clerks in Vermont, by law, have 48 hours to review, to verify, and certify their election results before they submit them to our office. Official results are then certified at the statewide campus seven days after the election. This is the last election cycle Secretary Condos will oversee as Vermont's chief election official and wants to leave people with this message. Your vote is your voice. Exercise it. It has been my honor as a Secretary of State to have served Vermont citizens for the last 12 years. I hope to see you all at the polls on August 9th. Dana Casulo, Vocal 22 News.